Good morning, everyone. It's a fabulous, fantastic Friday. All right, today I want to actually read two books, and neither of them are terribly long, but they get your mind thinking and learning, okay? So the first one is called Bugs. Oh, Miss Burke does not like bugs, but maybe some of you do. I want you to think, hmm, is it going to be a fiction or non-fiction? Okay, fiction or non-fiction? Books by Shira Evans. Now, in here, they have some important words. Vocabulary tree, it says it's about animals, more specifically bugs, and then how they look and what bugs have, okay? So it's kind of a tree, so yeah, they started here and they've gone down. It's more like a tree to me like that, but do it like that. There are many kinds of bugs. They live all around us. Yeah. Can any of you name some bugs? Now remember, bugs are different than spiders. Bugs have six legs, spiders have eight. Go outside and look. Do you see any bugs? Look closely at plants. You might see bugs on the leaves. Now, don't do this right now. Wait until I'm done with the book, then go out and look, okay? Some bugs have spots. Other bugs have stripes. Now let's see if we're right. Let's see if he has six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what are those two things? Hmm. Let's see if he's got six legs. Oh, I can't see his legs. Oh, I guess he does, because I see one, two, three. And then the same over here, four, five, and probably six. Do any of you guys know what these things are? They're coming out of their heads. Some bugs are short and wide. Some other bugs are long and thin. And that's what makes people and bugs great. They're all different. All bugs, oh, Miss Brick jumped ahead. All bugs have six legs. Their bodies have three parts. Okay, so we can see the legs. We can see the three body parts. It says abdomen, thorax, and the head. So it's broken into three parts that can bend, okay? They're not frozen on. Bugs have two sets of wings. They use their wings to fly. They don't have one set, they have two sets of two. So two sets of two would make four wings. Wow. I'm learning all kinds of things. Bugs have two long feelers, two. Each feeler is called an antenna. They tell the bug which way to go. Oh, we learned what that word was coming out of their heads, huh? Why can't we always see when we're looking down and see their antenna? When I'm looking down at an ant, why can't I see its antenna? It has them. Hmm. Oh, I heard you, Victoria. 
Yep, you're right. It's because they're so small. We can't see every little tiny thing, could we? No. Bugs have sharp mouth parts. They help the bug eat. First, the bug cuts into a plant. Then the bug slurps up what's inside. Look for spots on leaves when you go outside. The spots can show that bugs are eating. Your turn. Look at each bug. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Point two and say the name of each body part you see. So you gotta look for six legs, four wings, two antenna, and sharp mouth parts. See if you can find them, I'm gonna hold it up. Remember, six legs, four wings, two antenna, and sharp mouth parts. Oh, you guys did so good. Yeah, we can see their legs and antenna, huh? I wear that short mouth. Yes. That was the end. So see, it gave us a lot of information, but it wasn't a very long book. So that's why we're going to read another one. The next book is about using your imagination to maybe eventually get something you want someday or something you actually need, okay? If I built a house. Now, people um, called architects design houses, they draw houses, and engineers help, and construction workers help build the house. So you have all these things that you could be, maybe someday becoming, and that would help you build a house. Now this boy is going to use his imagination about what if he built a house what it would look like. Okay? It is written by Chris Van Dusen. If I built a house. Jack in the backyard said to his mother, this house is okay but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. And you're right, it is kind of a rhyming book. Mother, other, bland and planned. So, My house will be different. It can't be the norm. I'll think about traffic flow, function, and form. Oh, it may include shapes like a tower or a dome. But I'll focus on what makes a building a home. It's the rooms on the inside that make it unique. So step through the door and let's take a peek. Oh my goodness. And I'm so proud of all of you for listening and finding those rhyming words. That's something we've really worked on. Norm form, dome home, unique peak. You guys know what unique means? Unique means it's not like anything else. Each one of you is unique. You're not just like anyone else. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen nomad. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's done by a space-age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. Wow.
That would be kind of cool. You didn't have to cook. And you didn't have to clean. The living room's next. It's fun. Come on in. The chairs and the table and sofa all spin. And trampolines lead to a giant ball pit. It's a pretty neat room, you have to admit. In spin pit admit. So at the end of every line, you'll notice a pattern. Those are the rhyming words, okay? The first two lines and the next two lines. Sometimes in books they go one line, skip, one line. So, But this one's doing every line. Oh my gosh, a ball pit in your living room? Would you like to have that? Hmm. Now look in the bathroom. No shower, no tub. Instead, take a ride on my scrub-a-dub-dub. Just step on the belt and it washes you clean. Even the places that you've never seen. Oh my goodness. It would just go like a car wash. Yeah. Tub, dub, clean and seen. And here is my bedroom way up in the sky. So there's the end of one line, sky. On top of a tower 200 feet high. Yep, high. With glass all around, just check out the view. A bed in a tower, now that's something new. Yeah, view new. Maybe that's something you like, is to have a bedroom sway way up on. Maybe. The rooms we walked through just moments before are the kinds that you'll find in any decor. But if I built a house, I'd add a few more. So hop on the slide, it's time to explore. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. His house. That's where his bedroom's way up there. And yep, you got it before. Decor, more, explore. A quadruple rhyme, that means four. You know how I constantly like to create? Well, this is my art room, isn't it great? You draw on the wall, don't worry, it's cool. Hung way up high on a big giant spool is a huge roll of paper that hangs to the floor. Just draw it till you're done, then pull down some more. Whoa. Oh, Spencer, I think you would like this room. Whew. You could just draw and draw and draw and draw some more. Yep, create great cool spool and floor and more. Next comes my flying room. See how it's tall? It's empty except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float off the ground. Then flop like a bird and fly all around. Isn't it nice to be up in the air? A room without gravity. That's pretty rare. That puppy's like, whoa. Yep, and the rhyming words were tall wall, ground around, uh huh, air and rare. Good job. This is my racetrack room. Step right inside. It is less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with super fast go karts that don't make a sound. You fly and you flip and you flip and, and you zip and you zoom. You'll have to admit, it's a wonderful room. Whoa. Wow. 
Wow, that's like a giant roller coaster. And the rhyming words were inside, right? Around, yes, and sound, and zoom and room. A room filled with water? Now that's something new. But if I build a house, that's just what I do. This is my fish tank room, ain't it a sight? Don't worry, they're friendly, the critters won't bite. Just strap on an air mask to swim with the fishes. Now this is a room that every kid wishes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yep, and some of you are already saying the rhyming words. Fishes, wishes, sight and bite. Do and new. Of course, I've been saving the best room for last. And it literally speaking, this room is a blast. So welcome, sit down, I'll seal up the hatches. This plexiglass playroom completely detaches. You fly it around, why it even has jets. For me, this room is as good as it gets. just psh, takes off. My house will be nifty. My house will be neat. My house will stand out as the best on the street. Daring, bold, yet exquisitely fine. A messy example of modern design. My house will be held as refreshingly new. Yes, neat, street, fine, design. And the last page, in case you were paying attention, last, blast, hatches, detaches, jets, and gets. Now here, remember how Ms. Brooks said that every two words rhymes? Well, this one says, neat, street, you can see it, neat, street, fine, design, but this last one, you, doesn't have a partner. They're trying to get you to turn to the next page where it's probably going to rhyme there. So when it said, my house will be held as refreshingly new. If I built a house, that's just what I'd do too. Yep, new and do. Wow. And the, his mom's like, hmm, this is pretty cool. All right, now I gave you a challenge in the social studies video about finding out what memorial, why we have Memorial Day. I'm gonna give you two challenges in this video. The first challenge is to do what the book says, is to go outside and see if you can find any books. Now, you do not have to find their legs and antenna, but if you see them, awesome, great. Don't touch them, because we don't want to hurt the bugs. They're just minding their own business. So just look at them. The second, actually the third, but the second of this video, is I want you to design your house. You can have it any way you like it. This little boy had his house had an underwater room. You can make your house any way you want it. And what I want, would like, is to see maybe your parents can take a picture of your design and send it to me, okay? I want you to have a fabulous, fantastic Friday and have a great three days of no school, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, so that's a holiday. And I'll see you back here for another story on Tuesday. Bye now. I miss you.